Till CBS 21 News. All right, Ben, thanks. Well, if you're into sports, you know that hockey guys will play through almost anything. But this story is not about broken bones, torn muscles, or a gash to the head. No, CBS 21 sports director Jason Bristol live in the studio tonight. And Jason, you found a player who's faced something more complex than that. What is it? Well, I can tell you it's something that would definitely earn the respect of some of the greatest players in the world. I'm talking Ovechkin, Sidney Crosby, Marty Brodeur. You know, that's if they knew about this. Well, the player we're talking about skates in York County with a team called the Knuckle Pucks. In this league, there are no scouting reports, no contracts, no crowd. But even here, hockey has a way of connecting people, people like Chuck Meyer. To be truthful, it's the only sport where people really treated me fairly. Every other sport I went to, people just kind of treated me differently. Chuck straps his pads on like everyone else, one leg at a time. The rest of his routine, that's another story. Chuck was born without most of his left arm, but he has no problem lacing up the skates, taping that sleeve tighter, and throwing on a helmet. You know, I just can't, uh, can't explain how much better I feel playing hockey. And on the ice, you can tell Chuck just belongs. He's been playing for 30 years, and it shows. He anticipates, helps out, and most of all, adapts. Chuck used to use a stick like everyone else. And I couldn't keep my arm on it. It kept sliding off. So he came up with his own design, with a piece of wood on the end and a leather strap. Put all of this together, and you have a skater who now astonishes both opponents and teammates on each and every shift. He's a better hockey player than I am, and I got two arms, and they work. And I wouldn't want to play against the guy. They keep saying, you're amazing, you keep doing it. It's like, no, I'm not amazing. I'm just here having fun like you. So in a league with no contracts and no fans, maybe there is a player with a scouting report. Chuck is who he is, and you, you've always got that sort of guiding light. I mean, he's just that kind of person. Chuck Meyer may be missing an arm, but he fully grasps what's important. Just because I have this so-called handicap, some people call it, I don't, I'm no different than anyone else. I'm just here to have fun, get some exercise. That's it. And Chuck is in his late 40s. I asked him, how much longer does he have playing? He said, I'm going to play as long as the good Lord will let me. That's awesome. And that stick, he specially made it. Is that his only one? No, he actually has two sticks. He has that one and a backup stick. He says he's actually very fortunate. He's had both sticks, I think, for over a decade. Oh, wow. And neither one has broken. So wow. yes. <laughs> that is a huge plus. But he is certainly a very inspirational hockey player. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right, Jason. Great story. And Thank you. We have another inspirational story mm -hmm. here, Jason and uh, Tanya. King George VI, as you probably know, had a stuttering problem, and it was a well-kept secret. Well, now the man who played the king in the movie The King's Speech is talking about the struggles his character faced. This is a CBS 21 News exclusive. I wouldn't change places.